guys, Coach Joshua here. So, I want to do a quick review. I got a product from Ergogenics, which I have actually never had anything from this company. And I got the Ergo Amino Plus. And from what I understand, they make the Ergo Amino, and then they make the Ergo Amino Plus, and the only difference is that the Plus has a caffeine. I purposely picked the caffeine because I'm going to be using this as a pre-workout. So, I figure you get some BCAs, those are good for endurance, good for... Uh, uh, recovery, nutrients, everything like that, and then you get the caffeine that most people want from the pre-workout, so I think it'll be a good thing. What you won't get, uh, well, I'll, I'll read it and we'll see. I'll, I'll say after. What I got was pineapple mango, super excited. It's not fruit punch, very happy about that. So uh, I think that'll be good. And they call it their energy enhancing amino acid blend. And basically when you break down the back, besides the vitamin C, vitamin B12, B6, nice uh, you know, normal, all the B vitamins are, are, are essential and should be should be there. But the BCA blends that we're really looking for, you have the leucine, isoleucine, and valine. You're looking at 1.25 and then of the leucine and then 625 milligrams of both the other two. So not a lot, but it, there is an amount there, I would say, I guess. There's nothing crazy. You're not getting like a nice 5 gram dose that you would with straight up aminos. So if you're looking to use this as straight up aminos, you might need to add more. Or just double, double the scoops at least. But then that's, then you have the uh, essential amino acids. Then those are lysine, uh, theronine, and what is that, what, about 250, 100 milligrams. And then you have the non-essentials. So non-essentials are the ones that we do produce, but sometimes adding in extra can be beneficial. And then, um, what is that, glycine, tyrosine, alanine, and serine, and you're looking at 250 milligrams and 100 milligrams. And then the amino acid support, which was what I was curious about, there's one gram of taurine, 500 milligrams of citrulline, 400 milligrams of beta alanine, and 300 milligrams of choline. So, actually, you're not really missing out on a whole lot from pre-workouts, because what I like to look for in pre-workouts um, is either citrulline or arginine, helps with the pump, helps with the nutrient flow, and then of course you want you want some caffeine, and this does have that. You get a gram of taurine, that's going to help with the endurance, you know, that's going to keep the water in the muscle, and then uh, citrulline is great for pumps, great for nutrient absorption, uh, I mean the choline, that's the nutrient absorption, and then uh, beta alanine is essentially kind of like taurine, which if you're taking beta alanine, which I've said before in other videos, you should take taurine because it can deplete taurine after a while. So that's good that that's in there, so I like that. And then we have 80 milligrams of a stimulant blend consisting pretty much of caffeine and green tea. So yeah, it's it's obviously, compared to other pre-workouts, much more amino acid based. You know, it, it pushes, but that's, that's this point. So I get it. If you are, I will say again though, I am happy that it has the citrulline and taurine. I actually didn't expect those. I thought it would just be amino acids with some caffeine. So that's good for the absorption and uh, as a pre-workout, that can't help. That being said, I do say, if you use this straight up amino acid, you may need more or you may need double dose, which won't make it last too long. Because if you do one scoop, there's 50, which is pretty good. If you do two scoops, 25. So, I mean, that's still, that's still pretty good. That's, you know, you do two scoops a day, that's still almost a month. So, let's try it out. Keep in mind that, oh, the, the scoop, the dose is 7.6 grams. It's actually more than other ones. A lot of them do 5 gram doses. So, it's actually a little bit more. And it's rounded. Yeah, it's a little round, round scoop, just to even out for the seven, seven point six grams. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. But as you guys know, it looks fine and powdery and all that. But because it's amino acid, it is not going to blend super easy. So we'll see. Hopefully, because it's not a straight up big, you know, uh, five gram dose of the straight up uh, three main BCAs that everyone looks for when they look for BCAs. It might mix easier. Let's see, that's, BCAs are never the greatest mixtures. It's usually, it's, it's usually pretty hard to get them broken up with just a spoon. It's breaking up actually okay though, sticking a little bit, but. Not too horrible. I would say that's pretty good actually, for, for something that is, dirt, like geared towards aminos, it makes that pretty well. The, the top layer, when you're mixing it, is always really hard to get rid of. That's why 
Usually, if I'm going to do something like this, I'll put in a shaker instead because then you can really mix it up. You've got to get the movement. And with a spoon, it's just going to go all over the place if you, if you go too hard. But let's try it. Looks like egg yolks. It does look like egg yolks. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> but that tastes pretty good. It is, um, the mango definitely overtakes the pineapple, but the mango is a really nice, really nice mango. It's, um, it's a little on the sweet side, nothing crazy though, like it tastes good. Yeah, stuff's pretty good. Oh, I taste the pineapple more on that one. Yeah, so no, there's a nice mix of pineapple mango. I think it tastes pretty good. And like I said, BCA-based things, they don't they don't break down the easiest. So you, I'm, I'm not going to knock them for that or anything. That's how they are. So if you don't see something like this in a BCA supplement, maybe the company's not using, maybe maybe you just bought something and they just label it, uh, did off-label and gave you a bunch of crap. I don't know. But BCAs, if anyone used them, you know they're supposed to look like that. So I am not knocking them at all. It's just a fact of when taking a BCA supplement. They are harder to mix. But... I like the breakdown. I really like that they include the taurine and citrulline and beta alanine. That's great. Has some caffeine. So for me, I would say you could use this as a pre-workout. You're not missing out on a whole bunch of other stuff that you you know really need. There's there's only certain things that you really need when you look for pre-workouts. So I would say it's pretty good. And I don't know how many other flavors they have, but the pineapple mango was the same price as the fruit punch. Not extra, which is usually the case. So I was happy. And it was twelve dollars. For 50 servings, if you do one, 25 servings for two, for 12 bucks. That's crazy. Even if you do two servings, that's less than 50 cents a serving. So that's pretty good. So I'd say try it. I've never tried anything else. Maybe I'll try some other stuff because I like this. It tastes good. I like the breakdown. Good thing. But that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make at least two videos a week. Till next time, keep on lifting.